I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. The current hottest trend in reefing is automatic water testers. The range of automatic water testers varies from gear that will only test one parameter to gear that will test several parameters to gear that will test for whatever parameter that you want to test for. And for the past six months, I've had two of these automatic water testers on my tank. And here's my observations as well as what I learned about my reef since using the gear. My automatic tank parameter testing started with Focustronic's Alcatronic unit as it was the one that was available at that time. I then added the Neptune Systems Trident as I was part of the Neptune Systems Insider group. I ran both units for several months and now I'm exclusively using the Trident on my 450 gallon reef as the Alcatronic is being used for other projects. Both units ran well and both were in range of my Hannah Alkalinity Checker whenever I did spot checks. Independent of which equipment I'm using to test my tank, having automatic water testing on my reef has given me lots of peace of mind. This fact is especially true considering that I travel for several days at a time, at least every other week. No one in my house other than me runs water tests on my reef, so without the automatic water testers, I have no idea what's going on tank parameter wise. And when I am home, I don't have to take the time to run water tests because the automatic water testers do it for me. Now having automatic water testers on your reef is great when things are going well, and it's even better when things don't go well. For example, last fall I left to lead a group trip to Australia and Fiji for three weeks. The day after I left, my calcium reactor went down. My tank sitter wasn't available to come fix it for three days, which meant my usual method of supplementing my tank with alkalinity and calcium was offline. My tank has lots of coral in it, and these corals are all growing quickly, which means that they are sucking down alkalinity and calcium. I knew alkalinity and calcium was dropping, but I didn't know how much, as no one was there to do a water test. Once my tank sitter fixed my calcium reactor, he also ran an alkalinity and calcium test, and only then did I know exactly how much my alkalinity and calcium had dropped. I had a rough idea of how much alkalinity and calcium my calcium reactor adds to my system, but I wouldn't know for sure until my tank sitter returned and performed another water test. Once I had the results, I had to make adjustments and then wait a couple days till the sitter returned to test my tank's water to see how the adjustments were affecting my tank. That meant a lot of guesswork while I was trying to enjoy seeing Mother Nature's reef tank as well as entertain my guests. If I had had automatic water testing on my reef while all that was going on, I could have seen how changes were affecting my reef as often as that machine was running tests. Instead, I was left making a change, waiting a couple days until my tank sitter came back to test my tank's water, to report to me the results, for me to analyze those results, make a change, and then wait a couple days until I came back to run a water test again. That would have helped me avoid the roller coaster of tank parameters while I was sorting out all this cause and effect of changes on my tank. Now that I have automatic water testing on my tank, situations like that are a thing of the past. Now that's great, and the other great part about having automatic water testing on my reef are the insights that it's given me. I now have lots more data to analyze to get an idea of what's going on in this box of water. First, my daily alkalinity swing is 0.2 dKH, which is just fine by me. I see no need to chase numbers to try to get it to swing less. I've gotten the swing down to 0.2 dKH by having my calcium reactor and calc reactors do nearly all the work of supplementing my tank. Based on the test results from the Trident, my dose makes small alkalinity additions to my tank to fine tune my alkalinity levels. My alkalinity dips during the day and recovers at night. This dip in recovery is explained as corals are photosynthetic, which means that they are growing when my tank's lights are on. Alkalinity recovers at night, but not as soon as I would have thought. Even once my lights go out, there is a period of time that alkalinity continues to drop as the corals continue to grow at a rate that's fast enough to affect alkalinity levels. For example, my lights go out at 10 p.m. Even at midnight, my alkalinity is continuing to drop. When I frag something in my display tank, the whole tank shuts down as alkalinity will rise even during the day. This observation makes me wonder if the corals can communicate with one another, much like the forest in the movie Avatar. Maybe my whole reef is interconnected somehow. Sometimes you change nothing, touch nothing, and alkalinity takes a dip. Reef tanks can be fickle things for reasons we don't fully understand. Has the automatic testing in my tank's parameters made my reef noticeably better? Look, sticking straight to the facts, I can't know that for sure without a scientific analysis of coral growth rates and coral color. From an observational standpoint, the automatic water testing has helped me avoid any dips in coral growth as well as peaks and valleys of tank parameters. That means my reef is even more stable and I'm spending even less time dealing with tank issues. Overall, I found that automatic water testing in my reef is worth the cost and the upkeep of the gear. Now that I've started automatic water testing in my reef, there's no way I'm going back. 
I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.